Hey guys, so I've recently been playing some Hypixel Skyblock with a couple of my friends and I am going to review the Bazaar. If you guys do not know what the Bazaar is, the Bazaar is pretty much the stock market of Hypixel Skyblock. In a recent update, they have released the Bazaar and um, that's where I usually do most of my selling and buying. If I were to show you my jungle wood in that chest over there, it's not. there's not really a lot of it left because of how much I've sold. If we were to walk all the way to the portal, you don't have to go to the auction house and purchase a bunch of items and you have to wait an extra five minutes to get them or an extra hour or extra 12 hours and keep on doing a bidding war. All you have to do is go behind this place and there's a mini mart behind the auction house and there's a place right here called the bazaar. The bazaar right here has this man and he kind of looks like, um, kind of looks like he just came out of the ancient Egyptians, but you know. But if we click on him, he has jungle. But for example, if we were to sell this enchanted glowstone and we clicked on sell inventory now, that goes for 204,000 coins. And I would earn 201,000 coins, so I'm only losing like 1% of what that is. Maybe even 2%, but it doesn't matter. You're getting a lot of money off of selling this enchanted glowstone. So if I were to sell this right now and I was to click this, it's not it's not working this okay there we go so if I were to click that and I um, confirm it I now have two hundred and two thousand in my, my <laughs> purse now if we were to go to our bank I have a co-op and I've been working for a little bit we have eight million coins if I were to put that in there that that's pretty much all you have to do but you can also buy stuff from the bazaar and you could pretty much just keep on rotating you make a lot of money off of this stuff so i'm going to purchase um a couple stacks of jungle wood and i'm going to buy a couple stacks of jungle wood and then i'm gonna resell it to the bazaar pretty much rotate so you buy stuff and then you sell it and then you pretty much get a lot of money off of it so if I were to withdraw, let's get out 5,000 coins. And we went all the way back over to this bazaar over here. And we clicked on the jungle, and then we clicked on that, and we clicked on buy. And then we can fill up my inventory, or we can just get a couple of stacks, like so. That's all we need to do, we just purchased five stacks of jungle wood. And we could sell this back instantly. We might lose a lot of profit, but you know, it's it's still good to sell stuff on the here. So if we were to sell all of this 320 pieces of jungle wood for 3,000 coins, that is a lot of money. Of course, I'm not making as um, much as I intended or as much as the buy price was, but we're making money back. As you guys can see from my logs, I've purchased a lot of stuff and I've sold a lot and I've multi sold a lot so i've gotten a lot of coins and it's usually me using this but if we were to sell all this stuff back we can do that and then we get all of our money back and we pretty much just got back every single every single coin that we had besides like a couple hundred so really it's a win-win situation you do lose a little bit of money which is fine on my end because we have a lot of money but it's just it's just a really really good idea they should really make it so that you can sell jerrys on the um, bazaar. That would be kind of cool and make it like 10,000 per jerry egg. Yeah, that would be sick. So yeah, Apple knocked stream today, guys. That's why this is so, this is this is why it's so big. And this, why this chest has so much. Also, I'm gonna show you a little bit around my island. Those are two portal, three portals actually. There's jerry over there. It's our enchantment table, our chest room, two chests. I don't even know why are there. And our minions. And that's pretty much my island tour. <laughs> I plan to slowly expand this. I did expand this a little bit today, and I ex plan to expand a lot more. I plan on building a farm down here also. But pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build something here soon, so just stay tuned for that. 22 pieces of enchanted clay. Now if I were to go to the um, the people over here, the, the, the markets over here, the little merchant, these merchant people, these sell for 480 from the merchants 480 coins keep that in mind now if we were to go over to this bazaar over here and we were to um look at this this clay right here 
I just need to find the clay. Oh, it's right here. These sell for 474, so you're making more money than you are making with the merchants. Wee. So if we did the math correctly, that is a little bit less, so the merchants are a little bit better to sell these enchanted clays to, so I'm just going to sell these. And we have made about 10,000 coins. But there's something you guys don't know that's a little bit better, and that's why the bazaar is overpowered. So I'm going to go get a couple things from my island, and I'm going to sell them. And I'm going <laughs> to... It's going to be crazy, guys. So now that we're over here, you sell this to the bazaar, we would get 11,000 coins. But if we went over here and we sold this to the merchants, we would get 11,000 coins also. But what you guys don't know about the bazaar is there's a little bit, you get a little bit of a better interest rate. Like, so if I were to um, sell this whole inventory to the bazaar, I get actually 2% interest later from the bazaar. So that bazaar over there gives us 2% interest with the banker as well. And, and, and yeah, it ends every, and our interest comes in in about 26 hours. And our projected money to make from that 2% ration is 165,000 coins, which is actually a lot of money. From 8 million and then 165,000, that's a lot of money to make in that period of time. So this bazaar, you can buy anything from. You can maybe even make a lot more money. So the buy price for lily pads, of course, is worse than the sell price, but that doesn't matter. But if we look at the ink, the ink is very, very, very expensive. If we were to sell an enchanted ink sack, 30,000 would come off of that and 33,000 if you bought it. That is a ton of money for an enchanted ink sack. And that's why enchanted ink sacks have a lot of profit. If I were to do my calculations correct, if we got squid minions, I don't even know if those are a thing, but if we got squid minions and we had at least five of those fully maxed out, we would probably be able to make at least more than five stacks of ink sacks a day. Wait, did I just say five stacks? I meant 500 stacks, my bad. Which means if we estimated that, that would probably be um, at least a stack and a half of enchanted ink sacks. And that would probably be worth at least a million dollars right there. If we were to go back to my island, just so you guys know, all of my minions over here are completely maxed out besides the diamonds and uh, one of the clay minions. But this one is completely maxed out, I think. It's the highest tier you can reach on this one. The highest tier you can reach on this one, and the highest tier you can reach on this one. The diamond one not yet reached, and this one not yet reached, and this one not yet reached. But those three over there are completely reached, and they have maximized their full capabilities. So if we were to collect all of these, and if we keep on, and also this goes along with the fishing, so that means we can get a little bit more, and we also get coins every time we complete um, some of that stuff. Also, just so you guys know, for a little bit of a future reference. If you guys ever want to get to the bazaar, you need level 7 mining, you need level 7 foraging, and you need level 7 farming. Those are three key things that you need to get to the bazaar, or else they won't let you in. That took me about at least an hour to fully maximize out the bazaar. So if we were to go into our crafting table and we took all of that enchanted clay right there, we just got eight enchanted clay off of all three of those minions plus some of those over there i'm gonna put on my armor really fast we're going to go to sell this enchanted clay and i just want you guys to know we will get a lot of interest off of this clay if you were to ask me which is better the merchant or the bazaars i'd probably have to go with the bazaar just because you make a little bit more money off of it so if we were to sell this hardened clay we would get seven thousand five hundred and eighty five coins off of that but we would earn at least seven thousand five hundred and nine coins but if we were to go over to the merchants, the merchant gives us uh, 7,000 coins. So Enchanted Clay is more important over by the bazaar than at the merchants. So that's all I have to tell you guys for today's video. Use the bazaar. Don't use the auction house anymore. It's kind of bad. And yeah, and you guys can also use the merchants. Just I suggest not to use the merchants for clay or other materials that are enchanted. Be sure to compare the items before you sell them. 
with the merchant and um the bazaar as well and even if you want to compare them with the auction house that's also a good idea one thing i 100 percent don't suggest is do not sell your summoning eyes to the bazaar but if you guys look at the summoning eyes you you, you guys know right away like really really guys thank you guys all very much for watching today's video if you guys did remember to leave a like and subscribe and be sure to check out my other video welcome to my channel i am a fresh reset channel so if you guys could mind subscribing and liking the video i'd really appreciate it let's try and aim for 50 likes on this video and i will see you all in the next video and leave a comment down below if you guys think i should keep on doing skyblock because this is actually kind of fun now and i will see you guys in the next one peace out and good